Okay, we're at Bag Knives. We're at uh, we're in the Great Salt Lake, uh, Blade West. Here we are. Yes, you have something to bring to our attention, I believe. Yeah, we got the slip joints at the show, and yeah, these are the first time we've had any available. These are the pre-production prototypes, so we're actually these selling are some at the show. Yes, pre-production prototypes. Yep, that's of right. Of your slip joint, which looks very handsome. What's the shield? 14C28N. Okay, so yep. is that shape a particular shape? That is a sheep's foot. Okay. So what we did was uh, when Jared Van Otterloo designed all these, the original one was oh, this. Oh, Otterloo, okay. Jared Van Otterloo designed this uh, this uh, Hawksbill for Joel Chamblin, who's a you know 40 year veteran making slip joints, okay. who counseled us a lot on making slip joints. That's his little logo on there, the Jared's logo. And so. That kind of spurred this whole line of taller bolster slip joints. What we wanted to do was a modern version that looked like a classic slip oh, joint. You know what? That folds up nicely. Yeah. It's not real stiff on no. the walk and talk, is it? What we wanted to do with our walk and talk is we wanted to make something that was a little more pedestrian <laughs> that uh, the average buyer could open and close. And trust me, we tested them on a lot of hands. And it, it went from our yeah. wives' hands to our kids' hands to all different kinds of people that we thought would be the buyers for these. And, you know, they're not $300 slip choice. You know, these... Ooh, and this up, is nice blade shape, and I like the red inlay yeah, here. Yeah, that's our, that's our uh, Black Widow. Black like, Widow. That's the Black go. Widow version with the... Yeah, you know, we wanted to do G10 uh, badges that match the liners and kind of give that custom look to the, the collect... You know, the, uh, the uh, retail world that a lot of people haven't seen. I love that. I love this shape. I love that. Yeah, shape. that's yes. our dagger. We have that in a 5 inch and we have it in an 8 inch. Oh, those you know are, what? Oh, this is monster. Those are just about to be available on Blade HQ and Knife Center. So, oh, now that I don't have my reading glasses on, is this D2 as well? Or? No, it's uh, it's 1095 on the coated ones and AUS 10 on the satin. Oh, okay. Because we could okay. do satin on 1095. It's the same thing on the bolos as well. You know, the bolos. Well, no, the bolos are all AUS 10. You know, oh, oh, okay. These guys here, we got them in satin as well. Is that vicious? Look at that. Whoa. Now that, yeah, that's got that's style. Good. That one's got style. Yeah, that's you know actually what? designed by... Uh, Fills the hand. Kronos, which is, Dawid is his name. And he's, uh, uh, he's, he's uh, the guy I've been buying his knives from Poland for several years. And we've been talking about doing a collaboration together. And he, uh, you know, he designed this model. He thought this would be a perfect model for us to do that would kind of yeah. fit our style. And these will be available probably in early, uh, probably after January sometime. Okay. Are these, when are these supposed to, supposed to be fall? Yeah, oh, by well, the end of the year. So these will be before Christmas. Okay. This is a sheath that, you know, injection molded sheaths. These are going to retail for 150 And they're... Um, these are 14C, 28N. You know, I can't even see. Well, there's the flipper tab. Yeah, I wondered how you opened them. <laughs> yeah, if you just Somebody's flip, gonna if you pick flip up this that. really hard, it'll close. <laughs> it'll flip right into this case right here. <laughs> no, but yes, of course. I, I No, I do like this design. This is really unique. I like the orange black. I like the satin. I don't yeah, know why fine. I'd want a satin if I, it was a working blade, you know. Yeah. But... This would yeah. make more sense, yeah. Yeah, we got that. a lot of different finishes or with that. it. Or that, yeah. But that is, uh, yes. It's fun, yeah. So but you're going slippy. We got a whole line of slip joints. We have more coming. There that's, you go. That's what you need right there. That's the tree frog or neck knife. Yeah, I don't think I uh, ever, did I grab one? No, I didn't. No, I don't think you have I one never, of those. No, I don't have one of these. And neckies are great. I they're like They're awesome, neck yeah. They're, they're cool. I carry this all the time. Yeah, there you go, see? The ladies love these. I find women find the I get more questions about these from women than I do from guys. They love jewelry. Uh, yes. And so, of course, we do with the tree frog. So is that, you're talking about ladies love neck knives. They do. Yes. This is the. Uh, Ooh, this is different. I'm, I don't think I've handled this one, have I? I thought you did at Blade Show. That's uh, um, the, okay. That's the uh, that was originally made for. Um, uh, uh, Rod Olson, 
that Jerry Van Arlo did. That's called the microburst. Oh, and hold it out. Yeah. Don't don't take a picture of it. Yeah. That's, that's Just have it off screen. <laughs> okay, never mind. That's a. See, I'm losing my mind. That's a button lock. I modded this one with dual icing, but kind of see this little oh, guy. Oh, okay. This one has a rosette. The other one has a little frag pattern. These will be with uh, uh, VG10, and they're okay. aluminum frame. These will you know sell on the dealer sites for around 120. After map, their MSRP will be 149. And then yeah. we, uh, okay. those are fun. Rod Olson, you know, he currently still makes these. But this is interesting because it's it's his really front. just a top flipper. Yeah, it's a front flipper. If you get on the front of it like this, yeah, like that. But you can flick it with your thumb too. Yeah, which is really nice. There's a high fidget value on this knife. Yeah, it is. It is. It flips open really nicely. It's a lot of fun, and it just it really flips so easy like this. You know, it just takes nothing to do it. Can I see it? Yeah. What do you use a knife like this for? It's so small. To cut stuff. Cut stuff. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> Jared, good Jared made a really good uh, is this a, uh, comment on this knife. Was He said, look, he said, this knife is small, but look, show you the troll. Look how big my hand is. This knife fits in my hand. Yeah. yeah. But because where the a troll nice location box is. box cutter. So you, well, that, was, crafty knife. that was one of the things that Jared had said that I thought was an interesting observation from me. He said, look, when you have a knife that's small and you work with it all day, it'll hurt your hand if it's narrow. Yeah. So, so the knife has to be wide so when it rests in your hand, it doesn't dig in your hand and yeah. has stability. Goes, so you can work with a short knife like this all day as long as it's wide. As soon as you make this knife narrow, you don't have the purchase you have on a big knife because it'll hurt your hand. Yeah, so no, there's a lot of thought behind this little knife. Because if you look how big my gorilla mitts are, and you look the way this comes there, this knife fits in my hand comfortably. Yeah. Which is really unusual to see a hand, or a knife this size, and a hand this size, to uh, fit on a little tiny knife like that. How much are these? These, when they come out, they'll be 150, so they'll be probably 120 on the dealer sites. Um, but they're not out yet, like I this, can't buy one. No, they're not out yet. This is a new model we have coming out. This is a Jared Van Otterly design called the Gold that was for JD Vendetters out of South Africa. So it has this Harley grind. These are going to be with VG10. Those would be probably sell around 100 bucks when they come out. These are prototypes. We just got these. So yeah, they're going to have some few iterations that'll change these. They're kind of messy right now because they've been getting touched a lot. But you can see them. They're a, they're I hate it when people use knives. It's a, yeah, you're touching my knives. Don't touch can, my knife. I come out with you know different. You got layer G10. This was uh, you know JD Vendetta's never had a production version of anything that he's done with Jared, so this will be the first one. We have other stuff coming out from him too. We have uh, three neck knives. We have another folder called the uh, the silver, and they're all being this price point with VG10 around 100 bucks. Look how small that little thing is. That is that's small. But small, also light, easy to carry. Did you get a chance to hold one of those yet? No, you've been hogging them no, up. No, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> well, they're not for sale. You can't touch them. Thank you. Appreciate it. This has been a fun booth. Okay, never mind. That's what we like to do. We're like... So I don't know if this hand's shaking or this hand's oh, shaking. Oh, yeah. It's, I shake on everything. You know, I shouldn't have been at that Irish bar until midnight last right? night, but yeah. it's his fault. No, yeah. we got 86 out of that, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, you guys got 86 last night? Yeah. Oh, you guys were having a lot of fun. Well, he walked in. He didn't last a minute. How'd you guys get 86? This guy ID. is a criminal. I said, I don't have one. Who would ask for your ID? That's what I said. They do. Here, in Salt Lake. Everybody got to do the. They asked us. I said, oh, you flatter me. Is what yeah, I told I the know. girl. It's like, oh, uh, God, busted. I'm only 16. I said, stop trying to make me blush. Uh, I know. Yes, yeah, so we've got those coming. And then, of course, you know, some of the stuff was at Blade Show. But we have the new flat glimpses coming as well. We have them in G10. We have them in different different woods as well. You can see this. Micarta. They're going to be like 50 bucks. 14C28N. On the little glimpse? On the little flat glimpse. It's a flat version. Oh. Yep. Oh, Look okay. So it's not contoured. The wood ones have a little tiny bit of contour that have the layered wood so you can see the wood. The G10, they're just completely flat. Wow. Those okay. would be around 50 bucks. Wow. That's very inexpensive. Isn't that a cute little guy? A little deep carry pocket clip. And they got our exposed back liner that's tucked away. That's kind of our trademark look. 
it kind of goes like if you look at this it's another model we have coming out which is called the uh, Casadero. oh wow that's nice that i like cool? that yeah. i like that design look at that that'll be out next year probably by blade show yeah that feels good isn't that cool it's like the bodega and the osteo had a baby yeah i like that a lot that's gonna probably sell for about msrp around 160 because it's got stainless liners and a stainless pocket clip 3d so it's kind of on the heavier side but the price isn't heavy yeah because yeah. if we had it out of tie and <coughs> and s35 <coughs> Instead of VG10, this would be you know over 350 bucks. So, you know, I have the full size Steelcraft blimps in the black G10 black carbon fiber from how many years ago? But I thought you when I when I pulled that out and I thought you were saying send it to me and I'll I'll put the the finish on the clip. jewel it yeah you jewel it yeah jewel it. send it yeah Anytime. I think I will. You know, a lot of people haven't seen the Because that's a long, long-term keeper. I really love the way that, that was the Glimp 7, right? Yeah, I think we did a lot of iterations of that. Yeah, yeah. This is the, a lot of people haven't seen this. This is, hasn't got a lot of publicity, but this is the non-fluted version of the Glimp. A lot of people have seen this out of dealers. But this one has kind of been the unsung hero. <laughs> hasn't got a lot, of, a lot of airplay yet, so I want people to see this. To know I love These are yeah. currently available at dealers. Oh, okay. For 79 bucks. And and so, so you know, yeah. get our classic flutes and holes, but if you just want a knife that's more for EDC and you don't want a pipe cleaner to clean the peanut butter out of your blade, this is your guy right here. And this is, you know, of course, then we have, um, you know, more versions of the flat ones here that are coming out. You can see, like, a couple different wood versions. Okay. Probably not going to do all these woods, but, you know, it's kind of cool to see them, get people's feedback on them. OD okay. Green Micarta. Cool. Lots of stuff. Yeah. I think I've showed you everything. 